very good morning to all of you in our last class we had uh, discussed some pandas exercises today we will consider a data set that is imdb data set internet movie database and we will do analysis so first of all i will download this data set you see uh, i will go through google so from kaggle so this is the link so from the kaggle i will download the data set already i have downloaded so this is the download option this is the download option you can download imdb movie data dot csv file and you see so you go through uh, what uh, the information about the data set here is a data set of 1000 most popular movies on imdb in the last 10 years the data points are title zener description director actors year runtime rating these are the basic columns you see so these are the columns overall so these are the data set informations so first of all we will get data set so this data set we will download from kaggle site you see this is the link this link this is the link this is the link this is the link okay this is the link i am david data set data set link kagal this okay so first of all we will uh, download uh, the data set from kagal and already i have downloaded so this is my imdb data set so directly uh, so one thing that you can do so first of all we will bring this data set into my jupyter notebook environment so in this way so upload this imdb movie data set okay then upload now you see the data set will upload imdb hyphen movie hyphen data dot csv file movie hyphen data dot csv file okay so if i will open uh, this data set so you can uh, see this is the imdb movie data set okay so now i will come to my jupyter notebook environment so now we will start analysis so first of all same things first import libraries import libraries import pandas as pd import matplotlib dot plot as plt import c born as sns so why uh to so, uh, visualization library plotting library i imported so i will show you some plot we will do analysis also by going through plots so that's why i imported also these two library that already we have known 
about uh, macrotlib and sebo so it will be better practice always uh, when you will do any analysis process it all library if you will import there is no problem import numpy as in whether you are using or that library is not requiring there is no problem now i will hit now so step one first we will import the library then step number two then we will go to the next point the first point is we have to create a data frame so we have to create the data frame so now process is going on you see so when the star mark it is identifying that means process is going on that we have to wait so how to create a data frame that already we all have known by taking a csv file how to create a data frame let my data frame name is df equals to okay so there is a built-in function read underscore csv function so this function coming from pandas library that's why it is invoking by pandas alias so i will write pd underscore read csv function and within a bracket so i will write the data set so i will specify the data set name that is imdv hyphen movie okay hyphen data dot csv okay imdv hyphen movie hyphen data dot csv now print df so i will call head function directly because only we know that in my in our last class head function displaying first five records now i will hit now so you see so i brought the data set into my jupyter notebook in the form of data frame now this is my data frame okay so this is the step for creating the data frame now we will see actually the data frame bf containing how many number of rows and how many number of columns that means imdb movie data set having how many number of rows and how many number of columns that we will get the parity that is so same attribute i will run you see there is 1000 number of rows okay so then we will go to the next point if i want to get all uh, information to get information about the data set so what we have to do so there is an info function data frame dot info function now i will hit on. you see to get all the information about data set so what i did data frame name that is df dot info function so there is a function info function that we have to call so you see so there are 1000 number of records rows that is 1000 entries index 0 to 999 and these are the column names and these are the what counting now some column containing null value or containing non null values d type representing data type in the 64 type of data object type of data item float 64 type of data item so whatever we have the 12 number of columns that 12 number of columns containing values and that values are which type of data type float 64 okay float 64 three column data item uh what type is float 64 four column data item are in the 64 type of data item and five column data items are which type of data item object type of data then memory 
how uh, what uh, much amount of memory allocating that is 93.9 plus kilobyte okay so this is a little bit information this is a little bit information so about the data frame this is a little bit information about the data frame okay then we will uh, go to the next point then we will check the missing values we will go for missing values we will go for missing values in the data set or checking check the missing values in the data set so how to check missing values so how to check missing values so my data frame name is df dot so this part already in our last uh, class that already we had discussed so is null function okay df dot is null function so this is my data frame imdb data set data frame so i will check whether there is a missing there is some missing values or not how i will check so now there is a built-in uh, function the built-in function name is is null function now i will hit wrong so you see so a boolean series output is coming false 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 yes so here there is a true true means there is a missing value and here also there is a another true that means there is a missing values now we will uh, find okay we will find in 1000 number of records and 12 number of columns i saw there is a true and there is a true that means there are some missing values so now what i will do so now i will find that sum of true values so number of true is two so dot sum function now i will hit run so you see this column rank column having no missing value title column having no missing value zero 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 you see one is revenue column so having a missing value and one is meta score so here this two column having missing values okay so happily i got how there is a function is null function data of frame name dot is null function and it is providing a boolean series output and we saw two true values that we got it means two column having some missing values so when i will call some function then happily i got which column having missing value one is revenue column and one is meta score column now so that uh, identification of missing value representation of missing value that i can get also by what generating plot 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 so how so seaborn library that is uh, what uh, oh sorry seaborn alias that is sns dot there is a function hit map there is a function hit map so i will create a plot by taking what uh, all the columns of data frame dot is null function is null function is null function so now i will hit wrong so now i will hit wrong okay you see so uh, this point will remove if i will write plt dot show function okay so what i did so one plot i generated by invoking head map function head map is a built-in function coming from seaborn library that's why it is invoking by seaborn alias sns okay so now you see uh, this revenue column and meta score column this column have some missing values very lightly so in these two columns 
some missing values the plot through the plot or through the plot that we are getting this information also then my question is my point is that what is the percentage of missing value what is the missing value percentage percentage if i want to get missing value percentage then how i will evaluate to uh, get missing value to get missing value percentage missing value percentage okay so first of all i will write how to get missing value df dot is null function dot sum function okay so how i will get the missing value percentage you see into 100 divided by length of a data frame you remember and now this evaluation so whatever the output it will generate i will assign in a output variable let it uh, any variable you can give suppose percentage percentage underscore missing let this is my output variable now i will print print percentage underscore missing now i will hit wrong so you see uh revenue column having 12.8 percentage of missing value meta score column having 6.4 percentage of a missing value okay so in this way that uh, we can uh, find the missing value percentage then we will move forward so once we saw two column having missing values then we are need data cleaning so we will drop so now we will go to the next point we will drop drop remove drop all missing values we will drop all missing values okay so how to drop how to drop that already in your last class that already we have stored it how to drop okay so there is a drop function there is a drop function particularly here so some missing values revenue column have and meta score column have so record that particular record that i want to drop so if i want to drop some record means some rows so data frame name for this there is a function drop now function drop and a drop now function and within bracket i will write axis equals to zero so axis equals to zero that uh, meant for removing a rows removal operation axis equals to one that uh, meant for one to drop a column and in place equals to two so that means to modify the state of a data frame state of an existing data frame so these are the parameters that guys you have to remember what is the meaning of axis equals to zero what is the meaning of axis equals to one what is the meaning of n plus equals to okay so now so i will hit run i will hit run yes so you uh, you can say so some rows remote because how 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 i how i will know because the number of row was 1000 now after dropping some missing values that row number of row is now 838 rows 838 number of rows so whatever the rows containing missing value i dropped that what missing values or i dropped that rows then we will go to the next analysis so the entire uh what, whatever we are studying whatever we are discussing whatever we are doing practically all is what the data analysis now we will uh, go to the next point i will check for duplicate data 
say for duplicate data check for duplicate data how i will check so in my data frame df or in my data set data set is imdb movie data set so i will check for duplicate data how so there is a function duplicated there is a function duplicated data frame name df dot duplicated there is a function duplicated duplicated function dot any function there is a function any function and uh, suppose i will assign so i want to uh, assign any output variable let me output variable is suppose i will take a duplicate underscore data let it variable name whatever you uh, you can take there is no problem now i will print duplicate duplicate underscore data so now i will hit run so you see false output is false that i got output is false i got means there is no duplicate data in my data frame so false output means there is no duplicate data in my data frame if there is a duplicate data if our data frame having duplicate data then immediately we have to remove we have to drop how to uh, remove what how to remove or how to drop duplicate data so df dot drop so there is a function drop underscore duplicates there is a function drop underscore duplicates drop underscore duplicates so this function you have to call since there is no duplicate because we got the output is false that means or that representing there is no duplicate so there if there is no duplicate data item so there is no need to drop so if there is a duplicate data item so we have to drop now after that suppose uh, i want to uh, see one point actually i forget it, uh, this point uh, i should do from the beginning for getting statistical information okay so we got already overall information about the data frame about the data set then i want to get some statistical information so to get statistics to get statistics okay to get statistics about the data frame or data set okay so there is a function describe function df dot describe function okay describe function now i will hit run so you see so some columns rank year run time rating votes revenue beta score so the column containing some numeric value so their statistical information come into our picture count mean standard deviation mean 25 percentage are below so from this number meaning is this 50 percent are below or less than from this number 75 percent are below from this number maximum value so if we want to uh, get uh, all column statistical information then what i have to uh, specify within describe function within the bracket i will specify include equals to all include equals to all now i will hit run so you see all column so all column all columns okay so all column statistical information that we will get count unique value stop frequency main value standard minimum value 25 percent is what uh, are below are less than from this value 50 percent are below from this value maximum value so overall statistical for getting statistical information what we have to do we have to call display function if i want to get all column information statistical information within bracket i have to specify include equals to all if i will not specify include equals to all then what we are getting simply the column which is which are containing what from numeric value 
their statistical information will come to the picture. So it will be better practice that within describe function always within bracket you specify include equals to all. So now I will uh, go to the next point. Now next question is, is I want to display. I want to display. I want to display title. I want to display the title of the movie. Title of the movie having runtime. Having runtime is greater than equals to one eighty minutes. One eighty minutes. So again, we will uh, read our question. I want to display. I want to display the title of the movie. Okay, which movie? So having run time is greater than equals to one hundred eighty minutes. So we all are going to cinema hall for watching movie. So movie length is two hours, three hours, whatever it may be. Three hours means sixteen to three one eighty minutes. So first of all, I will check how many columns data frame name dot columns data frame name dot columns. I will hit run. So these are the columns. Okay. So you see there is a column a run time minutes and there is a column title. Okay. So there is a column a run time minutes. Okay. And there is a column title. Okay. So first of all. We will check. We will uh, what, uh, write the logic. Data frame name df of. So there is a column. Simply I will copy. I copied. Now I pasted here. So logic is greater than equals to one hundred eighty. One hundred eighty. Okay. So now I will hit run. So, a boolean series output can. Now, what I will do? What I will do? I will pass to data frame again. This. Okay, I will pass this to data frame df, and as per the analysis, as per the question. Display the title. Title of the movie will be displayed. So there is a column title. Now I will copy and I will paste. So I passed to a data frame that df of title. You see df of title. That means title will display, but df of type title. But within df, so logic is this. Runtime minutes is greater than equal to one hundred eighty. So now I will hit run. So you see, so this is the output. These are the movies. So these are the movies having run time greater than equals to one hundred eighty. One, two, three, four, five. Five movies having run time is greater than equals to one hundred eighty. So again, I am repeating in which way that you will do analysis, and for that. How you will write the logic? So first, run time. You see, first you read the question many times till understanding. Okay. So title of the movie having run time is greater than equals to one eighty minutes. So run time is greater than equals to one eighty. So this is my logic condition. And I saw from the columns, one column is title column and one column is run time within a bracket minutes column for. Our problem statement. So these two column I will consider. So first df of runtime minutes is greater than equals to one eighty. This is the condition. This condition I passed into a data from df. Then of title. So then I got the output. So I I hope you got the clarity. Then we will go to the next question. I want to display. In which year? In which year there was 
the highest average voting there was the highest average voting in which year there was the highest average voting highest average voting so you see so there is a column four there is a column four there is a column four and also there is a column year there is a column year so first of all from the problem statement we will consider or we will uh, do analysis which column first of all i will bring into my picture okay so in which year so year column definitely i will consider there was the highest average voting vote definitely i will consider okay so for this what i will do so there is a built in function group by function so here which function i will call group by function there is a function group by function and so year year column i copied year column i copied and i will paste here then group by of year in which year of that the highest average voting first i will see of votes so of votes means votes column here i will copy and i will paste here okay i will copy and i will paste here okay so in which year i specified of votes votes column specified average 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 means dot main function okay we know that main function when we are invoking we will get the average value we will get the average average value then we will go for maximum so now i will hit run so uh, group p i think group by so here there is little bit mistake yes so i got average in which year okay average voting average voting in which year average voting i got average voting i got but question is highest average the maximum average value that i have to get so i can uh, what uh, do implement sorting operation default sorting is ascending default sorting is ascending but if this is analysis so if average value we will arrange in the form of sorting order default is ascending but if i will arrange in the form of descending order descending means the first data item is the maximum data item okay so then what i will do simply same things so now a uh, same thing df dot group by function within a bracket year of votes column dot main function then if i will perform sorting operation so which function that i have to call so dot there is a function sort 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 underscore values sort underscore values function but sort underscore values function so when it is in the booking so average value the all average values will arrange in the form of ascending order default sorting is ascending so if we want to get in descending order so what we have to do within bracket so ascending equals to false we have to specify this now i will hit run so you see so i executed so this value is the what maximum highest average voting okay so this value is the highest average voting so very nice question so first of all my point is whatever the problem statement is given so you have to what do analysis you have to do little bit analysis so as per your analytical thinking so slowly slowly you will resolve then now so i will create a plot 
okay for getting highest average voting so i will create a plot which plot i will create bar plot c bar alias sns c bar alias sns dot bar plot there is a function bar plot okay x equals to so column year x equals to so i will copy i will write paste here x equals to year comma y axis for y which uh, values that i will consider in votes votes so i will copy and i will paste here then data equals to my data from dear then title plt dot title function okay so average voting okay average voting average vote okay average votes by year whatever you write this is the then so plt dot show function now i will head on so you see i generated a plot which plot i am generating bar plot bar plot and you see so which year in 2012 in 2012 so the maximum or the highest average vote that we got and from the plot 2012 you see this is the 2012 and you see okay so 2012 the highest average vote that we got so this is the analysis so by executing this line so we got the output and also we did analysis by generating a bar plot then we will uh, go to the next question suppose my question is in which year in which year uh, there was a highest revenue same same uh, type of question another question in which year in which year i want to get the output in which year there was the highest average revenue there was the highest average average revenue same question this question and previous question what uh, is equivalent so same question in place of votes simply i will write revenue so first of all you see first of all i will bring columns bf dot columns so you see there is a column or revenue there is a column revenue simply previous solution directly i will copy i copied and i pasted here so in place of votes in place of votes so i will copy a revenue by scholar copy and here i will paste this okay so now i will hit run so i got in 2009 in 2009 so highest average revenue 2009 this year have given highest average revenue also same way we can uh, create a plot also okay so we can create a plot also now this point i copied so now i will paste here so instead of votes i will copy revenue millions so now i will paste here okay average revenue highest average revenue suppose so highest average revenue now i will hit run 
okay so 2009 you see from this plot 2009 highest revenue okay so from this bar plot we got the clarity so in 2009 so the revenue what was highest then we will go to the next question i want to get i want to find the average rating for each director i want to find to get to get the average rating the average rating average rating for each director for each director i want to get the average rating first of all i will bring columns you see so there is a column director there is a column director and also there is a column rating there is a column rating okay so first of all from the problem statement whatever the problem statement is given so for this problem statement which column that we will consider that is the important point okay same thing same group by function i will write data from the df dot group by function group by function group by function and within uh, what uh, bracket i will write column name that is director column name director of of rating so of rating i will copy here then i will paste here rating okay so dot main function okay average rating average means dot main function okay so now i will hit run you see this is the average rating of director if i want if you want to sort then sort underscore values function default is ascending order so average rating so director list and their average rating list okay if you want to see descending order then you have to write ascending equals to false ascending equals to false now i will hit run okay so here what we got we got the average rating for each director this is it we go to this point i want to display i want to display top 10 lengthy movie title and run name so there is there is a column run time within bracket minutes this is a column so and there is a column title okay so first of all i will go to the next question i want to display i want to display first of all i will write the question i want to display top 10 top 10 lengthy movies top 10 lengthy movies title and their run time title and their run time okay so i will bring first columns so you see there is a column title and there is a column run time yes so what we have to find out first of all i have to find out for top 10 lengthy movies top 10 lengthy movies for this for this there is a function data of frame name top that is df dot there is a function you remember n largest function which function in the largest function within bracket i will specify the parameter 10 i want to because my problem statement is i want to get of 10 then which column run time minutes this part i will copy now i will copy and i will paste here okay then Okay, so this part 
I will pass First of all, I will run this. Then another thing I uh, what uh, have to write off title, off title, off title. Suppose if I will pass to a data frame, let it pass to a data frame. Then off title, off title. I will copy. Then. And run there, run time. There is a column, run time. I will copy. Then I will paste. Okay. So now, let it whole output I will assign in a variable. Suppose my variable name is my whatever, whatever. So let it top 10. My variable name is top 10. Okay. So now I will hit run. So where is some error? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let it. Okay, first of all, I will not pass. Now I will hit run. Okay, so I, I, uh, df of there is a built in function n largest. So, n largest function. So, you see, shift tab, you see, this is the n largest function definition. So, what is the n largest function? So, parameter, what are the parameters that we can take? Okay, so uh, n largest function within a bracket, I pass to the 10, parameter is 10. Then runtime minutes and off df. This is the logic of title and runtime. So let it uh, in right hand side, whatever it is evaluating, what the output is generating, I will put in top 10. Okay, now if I will print top 10, top 10 is my variable name, output variable, top 10. So now I will hit run. So you see, these are the title and these are the index row 828 index 88 8 index the title title and this is the runtime this title this movie having runtime this this movie having runtime is this this movie having runtime is this okay so top 10 uh, movie title that i got and their corresponding runtime so one thing that i can do that uh for it title if i will keep as index this title runtime is this this title runtime is this so how i will put so for you see slash for next line okay dot there is a function set underscore index there is a function set underscore index so within bracket title column that means you see what uh, is coming to the picture output you see all title so now represented as index so now this output you see title around time so title column along with all values i represented as index so this title movie title having runtime is this so it is looking better it is pretty looking clear okay so Question is to display top 10 lengthy movie titles and runtime. You can create also bar plot, there is no problem. You can create, uh, if I will create also SNS dot bar plot. So x equals to by taking a runtime. This, this is x. This is x. And uh, y is y equals to so y equals to this part top 10 index okay this part y equals to top 10 dot index y y equals to this 
data equals to top 10. plt dot so function okay so top 10 index value is okay so this is the plot you see so through this bar plot so what we are uh, what analyzing so this movie title so this is the title movie title and this is the runtime minutes so this movie title having runtime minute is this this movie title the headful eight this movie having runtime is this this movie having runtime minute is this this so from this bar plot also it is clearly analyzing or it is clearly what identifying which movie title having which runtime Okay, so here top 10, top 10, my uh, our problem statement top 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so in this way that we can resolve, we can find the solution. Then I will put the next question. I want to display to get, I want to display or I want to get number of movies, number of movies for years, number of movies for years so very simple first of all i will bring the columns first of all i will bring the columns you see so number of movies per year so definitely so there is a what column year okay so df of year so there is a function dot value I will count value underscore counts function. Value underscore counts function. Now I will hit run. So you see, so I want to see the number of movies per year in 2016, 297, 2015, this, this, this. Okay. So here I can uh, what generate a plot also, SNS dot count plot because how many number of movies? So it is counting. So for this, there is a function count plot. There is a function count plot. So all are coming for this function is also coming from Seaborn library. That's why it is invoking by the Seaborn alias SNS. X equals to, I will write here. Okay. So comma data equals to df. Okay. So then tld dot show function. Now I will hit run. So you see, so cloud plot. So in this year, how many movies in 2007, how many movies 2008, how many movies? So in 2060 has number of movies. So from this count plot, from this count plot also, that we can get all these things. Okay, so we will go to the next question. So this is my last question. I want to get the most popular movie. I want to get or find most popular movie, most popular movie title, movie means the title I have to display. So based on the highest revenue, based on the revenue, business, based on the revenue. First of all, I will bring columns. I will bring columns. You see, so there is a uh, column revenue, there is a column of revenue, so directly you go through the problem statement and this problem statement is based on which column or which column that I will consider for this problem statement. So I what I will write df of, so now I will copy, I will copy, then I will paste here, I will copy, I will paste here. So more popular movie title but based on the highest revenue maximum function i will call okay maximum function i will call now i will hit run so so and the revenue millions column values whatever the we have so from the revenue column values i got maximum value but now so i will compare how i will compare 
now i will compare same things all right you see i wrote same things df of revenue million now i will pass to a data frame i will pass to a data frame then of title because my problem statement is popular movie title so this now i will hit run you see i got the output find the most popular movie title find the most popular movie title as per the highest revenue this this will be as per the highest revenue okay so guys so this is all about so analysis in this way lots of lots of points first of all that we will bring into our picture then accordingly we will do analysis so this is all about the analysis of imdb data sets i hope everybody got clarity